Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach, everyone. It's lovely to be able to be together even in this distanced way for the first day of Pesach this year. We're going to begin in our holiday prayer book. Yours will not be blue, but it will still have the black border. On page 26, with Mato Vu. Mato Vu. Oh, I invite you to read the English with me on the bottom of 26. How beautiful are your tents, O Jacob, your dwelling places, O Israel. By your abounding kindness, dear God, I come into your house. With reverence, I worship in your holy sanctuary. Dear God, I love your dwelling, the place where your glory abides. In the presence of my eternal creator, I bow low, bend my knee, and count my blessings. As for me, I will pray to you, dear God, at a desirable time. O oh God, by your great love, answer me with your saving truth. We continue with the blessing over the talit on the top of page 27. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Asher kitshanu v'mitzvata v'tzivanu lehita tef batzitzit. I invite you to read with me in the English on the bottom of 27. How precious is your abiding kindness, dear God. The children of humanity take refuge in the shelter of your wings. May they find satisfaction in the richness of your house. May you permit them to drink from your stream of delights, for within you is the fountain of life. In your light, we see light. Extend your abiding kindness to those who know you and your righteousness to the upright in heart. We continue with blessings for our body and for our Torah. We'll read them both in the Hebrew and the English, page 28. The blessing for our body. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, asher yatsar et haadam bechokma, uvaravo nekavim nekavim chalulim chalulim, galui v'yadua lifnei chisech vodecha, Sheim mi patech echad mehem, or yisatem echad mehem, i efshar lehit kayem le amod lefanecha. Baruch ata Adonai, rofechol basar umafli la asot. Blessed are you, eternal our God, source of the universe, who formed our bodies with wisdom, creating within openings and passages life-sustaining organs of remarkable intricacy and of incredible design. We all know that if but one of them fails to function, it would be impossible to exist before you. Praised are you, Eternal One, source of healing, whose actions are beyond amazement. And the blessing over our Torah, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu la'asok b'divrei Torah. Blessed are you, Eternal One, our God, source of the universe, who has made us holy by your directives and has directed us to be involved in making the teachings of your Torah real in our lives. We're on the top of page 29 and we're going to sing the first line in the Hebrew. 
Elohai neshama shenatata bi tehorahi. Elohai neshama shenatata bi tehorahi. Elohai neshama shenatata bi Tehorahi Elohai neshama shenatata bi Tehorahi Dear God, the soul which you have given me is a pure one. Blessed are you, eternal one, who restores life to mortal creatures. We continue with Baruch She'amar in the middle of page 29. Baruch She'amar v'haya olam Baruch Hu Baruch Ose v'reshit Baruch Omer v'ose Baruch Gozer v'mkayem Baruch Merachem al ha'aretz Baruch Merachem al ha'briot Baruch Meshalem Sachar Tov Lireav Baruch Elad Vekayam Lanetzav Baruch Podeu Matzil Baruch Shemo Baruch Ata Adonai Melech Mehulal Batish Bachot We continue with Ashrei on page 31 Ashrei Yoshvei Veitecha Od Yehaleducha Sela Happy are they who dwell within your house. May they always praise you. Ashrei Yoshvei Veitecha, Od Yehalelucha Sela. Ashrei Ha'am Shekachalo, Ashrei Ha'am Shadonai Eloha. Tehila Ledavim, Arumimcha Elohai HaMelech, Ve'avarcha Shimcha Le'olam Va'el. Bechol yom avar cheka, ve'alala shimcha le'olam va'ed. Tehilat Adonai yedaber pihi, v'yivarech kol basar shem kodcho le'olam va'ed. V'anachnu nevarech ya, me'atav yad olam, halleluya. Psalm 150 on page 32. Hallelu, 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 Hallelu. Hallelujah, 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 H
We continue in the Hebrew on page 33. <speaking in Hebrew> הגדול בכבוד שמך, הגיבור לנצח והנורא בנורותיך, המלך היושב על כיסא רם ונישא. שוכן עד מרום בגדול שמו, וכתוב רננו צדיקים באדוני, לישרים נבט אליו, בפי ישרים תתרומם. ובדברי צדיקים תתברך, ובלשון חסידים תתקדש, ובקרב דושים תתעלה. Bottom of 34. ישתבח שמך לעד מלכנו, האל המלך הגדול והקדוש בשמיים ובארץ, כי לך נאה אדוני אלוהינו ואלוהי אבותינו. שיר ושבחה, הלל וזמרה, עוז וממשלה, נצח גדולה, וגבורה תהילה ותפארת, קדושה ומלכות. ברכות והודעות מעתה ויד עולם, ברוך אתה אדוני, אל מלך גדול ותשפחות, אל ההודעות, אדון הנפלאות, הבוחר בשירי זמרה. I invite you to read responsively with me in the English in the middle of page 35. You who are our sovereign, may your name be praised forever. You who are our divine ruler, are the one who is great and holy in heaven and upon the earth. So it is fitting to offer you who are our God and our ancestors' God, song and praise, psalm and melody, power, dominion, triumph, greatness, might, renown, holiness and sovereignty, blessings and acclamations, now and forever. Eternal One, you are truly blessed. You are the divine ruler exalted through praises the God acclaimed by all, the master of miracles, the one who delights in hymns of praise. You are ruler, God, life of all worlds. Because we are not together in this moment, we are going to jump over the Baruch Hu, so we're not together in person, to the top, and we're going to jump to the top of page 36. We read together in the Hebrew. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם, יוצר אור ובורא חושך, עושה שלום ובורא את הכל. והאר עינינו ובתורתך, ודבק ליבנו במצוותך, ויחל לב אהבינו. Bottom of 
bottom of 36. Hava nagila hava nagila hava nagila venismecha hava nagila hava nagila hava nagila venismecha hava neranenna hava neranenna hava neranenna venismecha. Come, let us be glad and rejoice. Come, let's sing and be happy. Awake, my friends, with a joyful heart. We continue on the top of page 37, reading together in the Hebrew and the English. Vahavienu le shalom me arba kan fota aretz, betolichenu kumimiut le artsenu, ki el po el yeshuot ata, uvanu vacharta mikol am velashon, vekeravtanu le shimcha hagadol sela beemet, lehodot lecha uliachedcha baahava, baruch ata adonai habocher baamo yisrael baahava. Bring us together in peace from the four corners of the earth and lead us upright to our land because you are the divine source of deliverance. You have selected us from all the other people for a special relationship and thankfully you have brought us close to your great name with truth. Blessings and praises are yours, dear God, whose love binds us, your people Israel, to you forever. Bottom of 37. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Le'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha Ushoch vecha uvkumecha, ukshartam leot ayadecha, veayule totafot beinecha, uchtaftam al mezuzot beitecha, uvishe arecha. We're in the middle of page 38 in the Hebrew. Le mahantis keru vyasite met komitzvotai. Vitem kiroshim le loechem, ani adonai loechem, asher hotzeiti etchem mi eretz mitzrahim, liot lachem le lohim, ani adonai loechem, adonai eloechem emem. We now have a special reading for Pesach begins on the bottom of page 38 and continues to page 39. I invite you, if it's comfortable for you, to read along with me. You could read the whole thing with me, or you could read it responsibly. It's called The Song of Freedom. When did we leave Egypt? And when did Egypt leave us? When were the chains of slavery broken? And when did we finally truly feel free. Freedom came in steps, 
It was part of the journey from Egypt to Canaan our people took, and we can still take. Freedom is courage and hope and clear vision. Freedom is walking to places we can't see. Freedom is knowing that we can find food in the desert. Freedom is feeling safe though our homes are booths. Freedom is choosing good rules to live by. And freedom is singing our very own song. So with Moses and Miriam and all those who went with them, with all those before us who brought us to today, we still sing these words, our first words of freedom. Freedom is having no sovereign but God. So now we're going to flip forwards to the very bottom of page 42 for the Micha Mocha, bottom of 42. Micha Mocha, Ba'elim Adonai, Micha Mocha, Nedar Vakodesh, Nora Teilod, O Sefele, Shira Harasha, Shibhu Gulim, the Shimcha Asvatayam, Yahad Kulamo Dubim Lihu Ve Amru, Adonai Loch Leolam Vaed, Sur Israel, Huma Beezra Israel, Uvde Kinumecha, Yehuda Ve Israel. Go aleinu, Adonai tzvaot shemo, Kedosh Yisrael, Baruch ata Adonai, Gaal Yisrael. So now we've reached our Amidah beginning on the bottom of 43 and continuing through 44. Because we are not all gathered in person this morning, we are not going to do our Kedusha on page 45 and 46. So once we conclude the Hebrew on page 44, we're going to jump to the top of page 47. I'll also let you know while we're doing it. So we're going to begin now on page 43, bottom of the page. Adonai sefatai tifta Ufiya di jehi la jeka Oh dear God, open now my lips so that my mouth may declare your praises Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu, 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 Eloheinu Eloheinu, Abraham, Eloheinu, Yitzvah, Eloheinu, Akam Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Leah, Elohei Rachel, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor, Vehanora, El Elyon, Gomel Chasayim Tovim, Vekonei Hako, Zoher Chasei Avot Vimam, Umevi Gilal Ibnei Mehem, Lema'an Shemo Gehava, so that no clean there of them holding, who matter has a ring, who make a yeah, who We now jump to the top of page 47. 
We bless you and praise you as the Holy King. We have another special reading for Pesach right in the middle of page 47. I invite you to read along with me. This is the season of freedom. We celebrate with family and friends our people's liberation from slavery in Egypt and our hope for a time when all will be free. Freedom is an awesome responsibility. It is a gift that was purchased at a great price. As we acknowledge the miracle of liberty, let us not forget the countless individuals who from generation to generation struggled so hard that the promise of the Exodus be fulfilled for us and for people all over the world. Dear God, help us to be worthy of the gift of freedom. May we always cherish our liberties. May we strive to overthrow all forms of slavery and oppression as we make the promise of freedom a reality for all in your world. We say together, Amen. We're now going to jump again to the very top of page 51, 5 1, top of page 51. Sim, 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 shalom, sim, shalom, tovah, uvracha, sim, 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 shalom, tovah, uvracha, chen la chese veracha mimaleinu ve al kol Israel amecha. Barcheinu avinu kulanu keechad veor panecha. Sim, sim, sim shalom, sim shalom tovah uvracha. Sim, sim, sim shalom tovah uvracha. Ki veor panecha natata alanu Adonai Eloheinu. Torat chaim v'ahavat chesed Utsdaka uvracha v'rachamim v'chaim v'shalom. Sim, sim, sim shalom. Sim shalom tovah uvracha. Sim. Sim, sim, shalom, tovah uvracha. Vetov be'enecha levarach et amcha, et amcha Yisrael. Bechol eit v'chol sha'a bishlomecha. Sim, sim, 
Sim shalom, sim shalom tova uvracha. Sim, sim, sim shalom tova uvracha. Baruch ata Adonai, o se ha shalom. We bless you and praise you, dear God, as the one who establishes peace. We read together in the Hebrew and the English in the middle of page 51. Yiyu leratzon imrefi vehegyon libi lefanecha Adonai tzuri vegoali May all of the prayerful words which I have spoken or felt within my heart be acceptable to you, my God, because you are the rock that anchors me and the power that sets me free. Oh, se shalom im rama, uya ase shalom aleinu, ve al ko Israel, ve imru, ve imru, amen. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom. Shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael Yahse shalom, yahse shalom Shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael Yahse shalom, yahse shalom Shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael Yahse shalom Yahse shalom, shalom aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael, ve'al kol Yoshvei Tevel, v'imeru, amen. Now as today is a holiday, the first day of Pesach, we get to say Hallel, Psalms of Praise. So Hallel begins on the bottom of page 52 with the blessing over Hallel. And I'll invite you to join with me in saying that blessing, and then we'll say some psalms. We'll say some Hallel. Bottom of 52. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu likro et ha-Hallel. We're going to begin with Psalm 115 in the middle of page 53. This psalm becomes call and response halfway through. Betzeit Yisrael mi mi Yitzrayim Beit Yaakov meham loez Betzeit Yisrael mi mi Yitzrayim Beit Yaakov me'am loez. Haita, haita, Yehuda lekodsho. Yisrael mam shelotav. Hayam ra'a vayanos. Hayarden yisov le'achor. Eharim rakdu che'elihim. Gevaod kivneitzon. Call and response. Malecha hayam. Kitahadus. Hayarden. Tisov leachor. Heharim Tirkenu Khelim Yevahom Kivnezon Mili Venehadon Holy Ahares, me leave Elohaya Ako, 
Ahofri hatu. Agamahim. Kalamish. Remainomahim. Page 54. Alelu et Adonai kol goim kol goim shabhu shabhu kol haumim ki gavar alenu alenu chastu emet Adonai veolam aleluya Oh, do the donai ki to ki le olam ki le olam chasto yom marna yom marna yom marna Israel ki le olam ki le olam chasto yom runa yom runa. Yom runa veit aharon ki leolam ki leolam chasta. Yom runa, yom runa, yom runa yire adonai ki leolam ki leolam chasta. This next psalm in the middle of 55, I think, is especially poignant for Pesach because Hametzar can mean the narrow place. It's also the root of Mitzrayim, which was our narrow place. So this psalm can be seen as a little tiny, really one line, one sentence version of the Exodus story from a narrow, confined place. God answered us with expansiveness, with freedom. Middle of page 55. Mina Metzar Karatiha Anani Vamer Havia Mina Metzar Karatiha Anani Vamer Havia Anani Anani Vamerkavia, Adonai, 
Nagila ven his mechavo, Anaro nai hoshiana, Anaro nai hoshiana, Anaro nai hatzlichana, Anaro nai hatzlichana, bottom of fifty six in the Hebrew. Baruch haba b'shem Adonai berachnuchem mibet Adon Adonai. Baruch haba b'shem Adonai berachnuchem mibet Adonai. Top of fifty-seven. El Adonai ve'yair lanu isru chag ba'avotim ad karnot hamizbeach. El Adonai ve'yair lanu isru chag ba'avotim ad karnot hamizbeach. Eliata Veodecha, Elohai Aromemeka, Eliata Veodecha, Elohai Aromemeka, O do la donna kito, Kile o lam hasto, O do la donna kito, Kile o lam hasto. Baruchata Adonai. Melech Mehulal Ba Tish Ba Chot. Now, because we are not all together in person this morning, we're not going to do our standard Torah service. So instead, I'm going to chant for you the, the Aliyot of the morning. And then I'll do our Haftarah, both without blessing and both uh, from a Humasha, from a printed page. We'll talk a little bit about uh, this Parsha, what we're, what we're hearing for Pesach morning. And then that's how we'll do our Torah service. So if you would like to follow along, this morning we're reading from Exodus chapter 12, verses, verse 21 is where we're going to start. So Exodus chapter 12, verse 21. Meikra Moshe lechol ziknei Yisrael vayomer alehem mishchu uchu lachem tzohon vemishpotechem veshachatu hapasa. Ulkachtem agudate zoho Utbaltehem bedama shevasach Vegatem alhamashkov Velshteem ezuzot min hadam Ashevasach veatehem Lotez u ishme petach veto ad bokem Never adonai Gofet Mitzrayim v'ra'at Adam al-Mashko v'al-shteem ezuzot u'fasach Adonai al-Petah v'lo yiten ha-mashchit l'avo el-betechem l'ingoho u'shmartem et ha-davar ha-zeh l'chok l'chau v'necha ad olam v'haya k'itavo el ha-aharetz Asher yiten Adonai lachem kasher diber ushmartem et avoda hazohod. Vehaya ki yomru alechem menechem ma avoda hazod lachem. Vyamartem zeva pesachu ladonai. Ashevasah <laughs> Lachati alayla, Ladonai, he kah ho behor, Beretz Mitraim, me behor, Paro, Ayoshev al kiso, Ah, behor hashvi, Ashev, Beve tabor, Beho, Beho behemah, Beho maro, Lahila, Hu, Beho lavada, Beho Mitraim, Vatehit, Akagadola, Mitraim, Ki ain bait, Asher en shameh. Naikra le Moshe la Haron la Haila, Bayomer Kuhu se umi toch ami gamet hem begamene Israel, Uhu if do as Aronai ke daber hem, Gansum hem begamer kahem kehu, Kasher di bartem halehu, 
וברחתם גם אותי. So those were the first three aliyot of this first day of Pesach. Now I'll chant the Haftarah, again without blessing. And the Haftarah comes from Joshua, begins in chapter 3, uh, verses 5, 6, and 7, then jumps to chapter 5, beginning with verse 2, and runs to chapter 6, 1, and then 6, uh, 27. Surihim <laughs> Hayudim <laughs> Vilti <laughs> Vishvutahaham <laughs> Shanahi, <laughs> 
ויאמר לא כי אני צא אני שר תבא אדוני עתה באתי ויפוהו יהושע אל פניו ארצה וישלחוהו ויאמר לו מה אדוני מדבר עבדו נא יאמר שר תבא אדוני אל יהושע שר נעלך מעל רגליך כי המקום אשר אתה אומר עליו קדוש הוא קדוש הוא ויעש יהושע הכהן ויריחו סוגרת ומסוגרת מפני בני ישראל אין יוצא ואין בה ויהי ארנאי אל יהושע ויהי שמו בכל הארץ. So I just wanted to say a, a few quick words about what we're hearing about in the uh, pieces of Torah that we chant for the first day of Pesach. So much of the chanting, much of the, the Aliyot for the first day of Pesach talks about that final plague, Makat Bechorot, the slaying of the firstborn. And it's Moses telling the children of Israel that they're going to bring the Pesach sacrifice. They're going to put the blood on the door so that God would pass over them, Pesach, Passover, Ufasach, and then at midnight, the tenth and final plague is going to come. And that that is essentially kind of what breaks Pharaoh. That is what breaks his ossification and, and kind of forces him, allows him, it really depends on how we want to view his, his internal feelings and, and desires, but that is what changes the situation, is that tenth plague, the slaying of the firstborn. And this is one of the first, or one of the only plagues, really, that Pharaoh can't get out of using wealth, prestige, power, resources, right? There's no way that Pharaoh, with all of the money and the, the resources that he has, he can't get out of this plague, the tenth and final plague, the death of the firstborn. All of Egypt, as the Torah tells us, in every house, there is crying and wailing and, and grieving because in every house somebody has lost someone. So the 10th plague is an incredibly difficult and, and hard thing for, for me at least to really think about. The idea that in an entire nation that every firstborn was killed. But here also what we're hearing is that this is the moment when things change for our ancestors. This is kind of the pivoting point when things actually shift. Right, up until now, with all of the plagues, you know, that Moses and Aaron would come, they would say, let, let the Israelites go, and we'd go back and forth with Pharaoh. And sometimes he'd say yes and only retract, and sometimes he would say no, we'd back and forth and back and forth. Finally, at this point, we have this moment, this actual real moment for, for change, for freedom, for something to happen. And we take this moment. This is an important piece. And it, I think it's really fitting that we read this section of Torah on the first day of Pesach today, because this is the beginning of the holiday. So in many ways, we are also at that pivotal moment. We're beginning our journey again to freedom alongside our ancestors that we're reading about. And so this morning, I want to kind of focus on that idea of beginning freedom, taking those first steps into more expansiveness. And I want to ask you, what are the things that are holding you back from being more free, being more expansive, from taking those steps, taking the next move, from shifting into a position of more freedom for yourself and maybe also for our community and our broader world. We talk about at Yom Kippur kind of the, the things that didn't serve us, the ways we missed the mark, but at Pesach we kind of have that same mindset, right? The things that were keeping us stuck in Egypt. In our case, it's not a literal Egypt, but more a, an Egypt of, of our own making, our internal Egypt. So what are the things that can be emotional things, maybe they are feelings of anger or resentment or hurt that you're holding on to, maybe they are grudges, maybe they are relationships that haven't, that haven't really flourished recently, maybe they are expectations of ourselves that were unfair or just not practical, maybe they are hopes or dreams. What are the things that we have held on to so tightly, that we have been just clinging to, 
since this last Pesach, that now as we're preparing with this first day of Pesach to go into our own freedom, what are the things you can let go of? What are the things we can leave behind as we cross the water into our own liberation? So that's what I want to offer you, that Pesach is a parallel track in some ways to Yom Kippur with a preparation, with a, a not, giving us another opportunity to kind of work on ourselves. And so this being the first day of our holiday, I think is the perfect time to really begin, to think about what are the ways that we can move forward unencumbered? What are the ways that we can move through the water that's going to split for us? And so I hope that this holiday is a meaningful and transformational one for you. I hope that this holiday is one that brings you sweetness, brings you deep connection to faith, to community, to those you love. And I look forward to celebrating the rest of this holiday with all of you. So Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach everyone. We're going to continue our service with a prayer for healing. We're back in our prayer book on page 61. So take a moment and think of all those who could use a prayer for healing, a prayer for healing of body, of mind, or of spirit, and then we'll read our prayer together. And of course, we're thinking of all of those throughout the world who could use healing of body, of mind, and of spirit. Mi sheberach avotenu v'imotenu, Avraham, Yitzchak, v'yakov, Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, v'le'ah, hu yevarech et hacholim. May the one who was the source of blessings for our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, be a reservoir of comfort and support for our loved ones and friends who are ill and in need of courage, hope, and strength. May they experience God's healing presence in the care they receive from doctors, nurses, therapists, and all helping people, and God's sustaining love in the best wishes and prayers they receive from family, neighbors, and friends. May all our sick be blessed with a strengthening of body, spirit, heart, and soul, so that they can find purpose, meaning, direction, and love in their lives forever, let us say, Amen. And we also hope and pray that all of the doctors, nurses, therapists, aides, activity personnel, friends, family, social workers, all who are doing the holy work of helping other people, helping them heal, helping them get through their day, supporting them, that all of the helpers have the strength the knowledge, the patience, the safety, the health that they need to continue to do their holy work. We say again, Amen. We're now going to flip ahead in our Siddur to page 70 for Alenu. Page 70, 70. Alenu le shabeach la adon hako, la tet gidula le utser greshi, chelo asanu kigo ye arazo, velo samanu kimish mechot adama, chelo sam kelke nufahem, vegor alenu kecho hamonam, vanach nu korim, umishtahavi bumodim.
continue with Mourner's Kaddish on page 72. I invite you to recite Kaddish if you have a yard site, if you're remembering somebody special during this Pesach, if you've lost somebody recently. All who wish to recite will recite together. Yit Kadal ve'yit Kadash Shemei Rabah Be'alma divra chir'ute ve'amlich malchute Ve'chayechon uv'yomechon uv'chayei d'cho beit Yisrael Ba'agala uv'izman kariv ve'imru amen Yehei Shemei Rabah mevarach le'alam ulalme almaya Yitbarach ve'yishtabach ve'yitpa'a ve'yitramam ve'yitnase Vitadar vit ale vit halal shmed kudesha brichu. Leela mikol birchata ve shirata. Tush bechata ve nechemata. Damiran be alma ve imru amen. Yehe shlama raba min shamaya. Bechaim aleinu ve alko Yisrael ve imru amen. O se shalom bim roma. Huya se shalom. Aleinu ve alko Yisrael ve alko yoshvete vel vi meru. Amen. Zichronam livracha. May their memories be for a blessing. We continue with Kiddush. We'll begin with Vishamru because it's Shabbat. Page 73. Vishamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat la'asot et ha-shabbat le'dorot ha-merit olam v'shamru b'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat la'asot et ha-shabbat le'dorot ha-merit olam b'ni uv'in b'nei Yisrael od hi le'olam od hi le'olam v'shamru b'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat la'asot et ha-shabbat le'dorot ha-merit olam ki sheshet yomim ha-sadonai ha-sadonai et ha-shamayim Viet ha arts ve shamru bene Israel et ha shabbat la asot et ha shabbat le dorot ha merit olam u vayom ha shvi shabbat vayin afash shabbat vayin afash Shabbat vayin hafash v'shamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat la'asot et ha-shabbat v'dorot ha-merit olam Time for Kiddush. Al ken berach Adonai et yom hashabbat vayikat shehu. By the bear Moshe Mo'ode Adonai el b'nei Yisrael. Page 74. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Borei peri agafen. L'chaim. And now the Shehechianu. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shechianu Vikiemanu Vihigianu Lazman Haze Amen. And Motzi, which is of course Matzah during Pesach. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Hamotzi Lechem Min HaAret. So Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach, everyone. I look forward to spending the rest of Pesach together, even in this virtual way. It's so lovely to know that we can connect and be together. I wish you a sweet and meaningful Shabbat and a wonderful celebratory Pesach. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Chag Sameach.